for sure. So. Uh, yep, and you're live. All right. Hello, again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm Patrick, and this year next to me is Akshay. We are both developers. Uh, we have been working on this game called Ocean's Infinity. And uh, we we like to just talk about it. We uh, well, we are we just finished up the pre-production phase on this on this guy. Um, at least that's what I call it. Although I mean, we this is essentially a fully fledged proof of concept that we are very proud and happy to show. So um, this is tooled for uh, a streaming platform known as Mixer, brought to you by Microsoft, which uh, has a very cool little uh, infrastructure in place, which allows for viewers to actually be able to. Interact with the game that the streamer is playing. Um, this can work with exi existing games. So, for example, if you are playing, say, uh, Earthfall, one of the new, one of those new games that are that's out there, you can actually press a button and drop a med pack for your streamer. Or you can have a intrepid team of developers like Akshay and myself, and, uh, and the rest of our team, who make it make a game specifically to incorporate that mechanic. That's what this game is. Ocean's Affinity. I'm Gaston, and I'm a little dude running around down there, getting, uh, spinning directly, yeah, spinning directly in view of that guard who's ice skating toward me. Um, and you, the viewer, are a nanobot Rich. of my creation. I'm gonna be taking up that role. I'm actually not a real person, I'm just part of Pat's imagination. That's so. true. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, much like the Joker was driven mad by the voice of his head. Um, oh jeez. I'm not doing too hot with the void of this card. So, a little bit of na nanobot, nanobot Akshay. Uh, hit the lights. I would comply if you are near a light switch. Yeah, let, me, let, let me do that again. Uh, actually, I've got nothing. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, let's see here. I've, I've only got so many more intros to, to, to give Akshay. <laughs> okay, I think that, okay, hold on. Let, let's try something else. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah. Bounce back in uh, onto the stream, and uh, let me see if that uh, changes that. Alright, that actually, sounds good to me. Uh, actually, we're. we're <laughs> I think, uh, through the form, we're experiencing some te technical difficulties oh, in, in this playthrough. Uh, I don't know what is up with that. Because um, <laughs> we just had one <laughs> where everything was working Yeah, perfectly. I think, okay, let's. um. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know let's what we're there. Yeah, let's, let's just restart the game. Yeah, let's just. Uh, Sometimes mixed play gets a little uh, gets a little bit mixed up, and uh, okay, so there, so we have we have start. an overlay. Just yeah, just trying to pop up near a. Okay, yeah, there we go. I've okay, got yeah. stuff now. So uh, mixed play, the uh, the the pipeline of communication between the game and the and mixer needed a bit of a uh, bit of refreshing. So yeah, why don't you uh, why don't you have open this safe for me since we uh, we escaped the guard right. in our wilds. Uh, here so, is me on the safe. Yeah, so um, so so Akshay hit that safe, and as you can see, it fills up and cracks open. So, from thousands of miles away, potentially, Akshay, being a nanobot and a viewer, has uh, effectively affected my game. Um, so, let's let's demonstrate a few other cool things. Um, All right. So, the main the main objective here for me, the streamer Gaston, is to collect as many of these glowing dollar bills as I can. Um, as you can see, uh, you might be able to see in the bottom bottom right, there is a counter, which currently tells me that I have collected 14 out of 53 dollars. So that's currently in this bank. I want all of them. Um, I'll check up the stream for whatever reason, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think it might be a bit out of range. I think it's because my my Unity window might be a little bit wonky. Anywho, yeah. uh, crack open the safe for me, would you? So you're hitting all the safes here. Uh, nope. Well, somebody spotted you, and yep. you had to move, and do you still want me... Okay, I'm going to crack open the safe. Yeah, crack open the safe, the, and then do the light switch. I'm going to try and avoid this guy as long as I can. So as a, as a nanobot, I can only do one thing at a time. So yes. I've already committed myself to the safe, and I can't actually see a light switch until the safe goes off. That's right. So the fact... I mean, uh, if I had other, other nanobots, they could have been hacking the light switch simultaneously, but... Um, but now that now that you're free, you should be able to get that light switch. Uh, all right, I'm gonna yeah. Now I'm free again, yeah, and I think here we're back on the light switch. Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna try and bait the guard? I'm, I'm trying to bait him in here. Uh, I think he's not buying it. I think he's uh. Okay, he's he's, he's sliding on in. There so we go. Oh, Michael Jackson is. Okay, cool. Speaking, well, of, speaking of, uh, <laughs> what is that? So, um, 
I was hoping that the first our first demonstration of the light switch would actually turn it off because there's actually a one in five chance for each item that they'll actually do something you don't expect. Uh, for the light switches, uh, the normal thing they would do uh, naturally is to turn off, and that would actually limit the field of view for each guard. Um, the one in five little bonus action that might that might occur is this, where it just turns into a disco, and you are continually getting your uh, your your head uh, shot by a guard because. It's yep. a wacky bank. Let's let's, uh, just, let's just say it. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to demonstrate actually a, uh, another feature, which is actually which is obstacles that can only be surmounted with the use of items. So you might recall ages ago how I uh, cracked open this, or rather how Akshay cracked open the safe, and I was able to get those aerosol cans. Um, in order to get past these uh, barely visible light uh, laser grids, I need that aerosol can, and I will use it right now. And, and they so, are visible. Certainly, there's like an icon here for my uh, for my web page that says laser grid, and I can hack into that, which I'm gonna do right now for you. Yeah, because I'm a good nanobot. He's a good nanobot. And uh, if you if you can hit that for me, please. And uh, there we go. Okay, yeah. now it's going on. Yeah. So um, that laser grid was impervious until I actually used an aerosol can to expose it to the nanobot, so they know what to chew on. And uh, I've nice. always just sort of imagined that. Okay, there it goes. And now I'm able to uh, go through it safely. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go up here and snatch that, snatch that sweet, sweet money. Uh, as soon as these guys chill out. These are security cameras, by the way. There are two ways to fail in this in this game. Um, you can lose health, of which I've already lost a significant amount. Um, and you can also uh, cause uh, that to happen. Uh, you can cause the alarm to go up too high. And security cameras. Uh, that's that's what they do. When they see you, they they raise the alarm level, and when it gets to three, you lose. So um, yeah, so you need to sort of hang out in here. For if long. I if I hit the light switch here, is the camera gonna go off or I something? I believe that would be in the most recent change. So I, I've got so. onto the light switch and try to help you, but I see oh it's gone up again. This um, but, this, uh, this uh. Oh, okay, so that didn't work. That's okay. um, that's still the planning phase, so it's the light switches will actually limit the field of view for security. Okay, I see. As it happens. Um, in any case, uh, one more fun little thing is that we are actually, we've actually started making a fully uh, adaptive environmental hazard system. Uh, I, I know it doesn't terribly sound obvious, <laughs> but essentially, uh, why, don't you, why don't you hack for me that, that gas pipe there? So there's a gas pipe here, which I'll... It, yeah, it reminds me of a pipe organ. Right. But, uh, <laughs> very conveniently placed, I must say. Uh, you know, a pipe organ was named after pipes, <laughs> uh, not the other way around. Um, <laughs> cool, okay, so, and now, now hack for me the little, uh, the little wiring pan. So, uh, let's see, yeah, there's the wiring pan that's showing up, and, uh, so, can you see, uh, oh, I see, oh, did I see my name go up there, and so, oh, wow. Well, I killed you. Okay, well, that, that, uh, I should have seen that coming. Um, Gas and fire <laughs> cause an explosion? Well, yeah, also um, because, uh, okay, yeah, so, <laughs> when I, uh, when I mentioned the adaptive environmental system, so the, um, the gas pipe caused, released gas into the air, as the leaking gas pipes do, and the faulty wiring panel did cause a fire. When these two things interact with each other, uh, it cause an explosion, which will, which will hurt you. Um, it, it, I was far too wounded to test that out and not die. I should have seen that one coming, but essentially that's how that works. Um, just a fun little, fun, fun little element of chaos, which we're, you know, which we're trying to add into here. So, but this is part of a larger uh, environment system, right? To which uh, we're going to be adding more elements uh, along the line. Many more elements: uh, oil, water, coffee. We're going to add a coffee machine. Which you can uh, which you can hack as a nanobot to cause to explode, which will create a Lego coffee, which will slow down anybody who comes across it. Fun stuff like that. Uh, we really want the environment to change over time and and, and reflect the the bumbling chaos of Gaston. So, um, when you when you wrapped up, if we could just pretend that I did actually go through this entire level and collect everything, uh, you can choose to leave. You can you can leave whenever you want. You leave when you think you've done enough or all you can do. And um, it's party time. Uh, it's really fun time, but essentially, um, I'm Bonnie and or Clyde. I collected 200 bucks. It took me 68 seconds for that run, and I won't be I won't be buying any penicillin because I, I never got hurt. So yeah, we we decided to base your scoring on the class of criminal or the class of competency you show 
during your runs uh, and Bonnie and Clyde I believe is somewhere on the mid range of the positive side uh, yeah um, surprising so, I, I think that's because I basically just ran through um, yeah uh, so you ran through it in about a minute which is uh, which is impressive uh, and you did it without taking any damage because <laughs> we had switched off the laser. So that, that's sort of a uh, that's sort of cheating. The, yeah. yeah, we cheated a bit. Just cheating. Uh, and two hundred dollars is not bad. It's gonna pay our coffee for the next two weeks of development. So we're gonna take it. And, you know, uh, Bonnie and Clyde's day. That's like retirement money. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's our game. I hope uh, anybody who watched this or will be watching this uh, enjoyed it, and I hope that you keep your eyes out on Mixer uh, when this goes live for real, and uh, and we'll all have a good time. So yeah, thank you, Pat. Uh, for hosting, uh, cheers.